Today we're talking about how to get you more deals by making the most out of your mail marketing. One of the things that Deal Machine offers is automated mail marketing. We go one step further here at Deal Machine where you're not just sending the same postcard over and over, you have the option to customize that entire sequence for your potential seller. So let's dive in on how you can access this in your account. When you're in here, you're gonna go to the mail tab, click mail center when you get into the mail center this is basically your dashboard of what mail is going out when it will go out your estimated spend for this month but what we're really focusing on right now is again the mail sequences so to start a new mail sequence you go to over to the right hand side and you click new mail sequence. I already have templates in here that I have customized. So if you wanna go over how to customize mail, go ahead and check out the video above to learn more about that. Because when you're doing a mail sequence, you really wanna take advantage of being able to change out each mail piece to see which one people respond to most. So here you can see that right up here, we're gonna just start from top to bottom in the mail sequence. So first you're gonna want to title your mail sequence. So an example of this would be if I'm in a bunch of different markets and I wanna make sure that I know that this is specifically for my Detroit market because in the mail pieces, I say I'm a local investor in the Detroit area. So what I would do this is I would say Detroit, market and then i would even get more specific on if this is for owner occupied or absentee owners because your wording will also be different with that if you go in and want to customize it even further okay and then as we work our way down you can see here this is step one so this is the first postcard that's going out you can click on it you'll be able to see it turn it around and then i can put in here repeat step every so many days. So I told you that you can repeat the same postcard over again that is on our starter plan, but you can also repeat these as well. But maybe I don't want to, maybe I just wanna send one mail piece. So I just wanna send this one and then move on to the next one. But I wanna make sure that it's spread out the number of days that I want. So 21 days is our default here at Deal Machine. It's a really nice medium way where you don't wanna be sending out every two weeks. One, it's super expensive. Two, you're gonna just be bombarding them and then being lost in the mail pieces. This way you're able to separate it out monthly and then that way you can better estimate what your mail spend is gonna be even though on your dashboard you can see that. And also you're just hitting them at least once a month. So I'm going to keep it at 21 days, but as you can see, I can change this to as many days as I want. So then going down to step two, I can change out the design that I want. Maybe I want to do my ballpoint letter here. Then I can say send after 21 days, repeat step every 21 days. The reason why it's saying repeat every step is because it shows that step two is the last step that we're gonna take. So say I wanna add more. Actually, I highly recommend adding more if you are using a sequence. Take the time to make these postcards worth the money that you're spending on them. So I can add this. I'll put here that I only want one mail piece for the ballpoint letter. And then I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna change which one I want for this. So spring mail step and see how I'm just giving variety to this mail sequence. So they're not seeing the exact same postcard every time. Maybe they'll respond really well to my personal picture on this first one. Maybe they won't. Maybe they'll feel better about the fact that there's this tall grass in front of their property and they're thinking about the springtime and having to maintain that yard. And that's a pain point that hits them. So say I'm done with this, you can auto repeat the last step in the mail sequence. So it will continue to send that last postcard forever, okay? But if I don't wanna do that, I can just go up here and click create. Okay, so we created the sequence. Now, how do we use it? There are a couple different ways. So first, to access your sequence, you're gonna go back to the mail tab and go to mail sequences. Here, you're going to be able to see all of the sequences you've created, how many steps are in them, how many active leads are in that sequence, pause leads, completed leads, and the date created. Another way, if you wanted to start a mail sequence, is you can go directly to the mail sequence tab and then you can click this button right here and just create as many as you wish. Now, to get this going with your leads, I'm going to go into my leads. You can filter or open a list that you want the sequence to go to. So let's say that I want it to go to this list. I can select all, start mail, 
and I can look under my mail sequences and click on that Detroit market absentee owner sequence. It's gonna give me an estimated total for when it's completed, how much this is gonna cost me, and then I can do start mail. Now, if I just wanted to do some one-offs, all you have to do is click into the lead, go into the mail tab, and then you can click change to change what the mail sequence is. I know that when we went over this that you saw that I only did three steps. We do say a minimum of three postcards, but I'm going to highly recommend doing at least five to seven steps in your mail sequence. You want to make sure that you're being consistent because consistency is key in the game of real estate investing. Whether you're mail marketing or cold calling, consistency is key. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about how to use the systems, please go ahead and check out this video right here. And as always, happy deal finding.